Hello everyone and welcome back. So in this session we are going to discuss about the identity property for addition and subtraction. So let's begin our discussion with the identity for addition. Now, if you remember, the main difference between natural numbers and whole numbers was the addition of a zero to the whole numbers. Now, this zero has a very special place in addition. And I also uh, discussed that zero implies nothing it implies nothing it means it's just nothing of something so when I say zero apples it means no apples or when I say zero rupees I say no rupees at all so that's what is so now let us see this interesting role of zero in addition so let us say that I have five apples and I add zero to these five apples which means I add nothing to five apples what do I have with me I still have the five apples left right <coughs> similarly I can take any number any number let's say we take a number 999 and then to that we add a zero but I'll still have 999 with me now this is one way of looking at addition of zero to a number now let us look say see what happens when we add something to a zero so let's take just this example now I'm adding I don't have any apples with me that is zero apples and I add five apples to nothing what do I have I have five apples back again similarly if I have zero of something and I'm adding 999 to that I will get 999 now this will be applicable for all the whole numbers all whole numbers no matter in whichever way you add zero right whether you add zero earlier or you add number to a zero we always get the same number so we can just summarize this as adding zero to a whole number results in the number itself this is quite an obvious example so we say that <coughs> 0 is the identity for addition of whole numbers this is an important result so we can highlight it So now let us try to understand what is the identity for subtraction. Now following the same logic we took some number for example we'll take again we'll take our example 5 and then we try to subtract a 0 from it what do we get we still get the same number it means I have 5 apples and I don't take anything from that apples I still get 5 apples left 
and when I have another number, let's say again taking our earlier example, why when I have 999 apples and I subtract 0 from it, I still have 999 left. Now looking from this, it appears that 0 could be the identity for subtraction. But what happens when we do it the other way around? That is, when I try to subtract 5 apples from 0, that is, I owe somebody 5 apples. I, I mean, somebody wants 5 apples for me and I don't have, or I have to give him 5 apples. So in that case, I owe him 5 apples and which I say is minus 5. So this number is not a whole number. Okay, similarly, you can try for any other uh, number. In our case, we can take 0 minus 999 and the number that comes here is minus 999. You will learn about this negative numbers more in later, later chapter uh, integers, right? So this is also not a whole number, which implies that 0 is not an identity. Identity. for subtraction of whole numbers. So let us quickly highlight this result. I mean, before we uh, bring this session to a close, I would just like to uh, discuss one more thing about the role of zero in uh, multiplication. What happens when we multiply any number by zero? Let's say we take one multiplied by zero. We always get a zero. Or you can take any number, let's say 25 multiplied by 0, you always get a 0. It's also the other way around. If you multiply a number by 0, in this we are multiplying 0 with a number. If you multiply it like, for example, 0, you still get a 0. Or if you do 0 multiplied by 1, the answer is still 0. So whenever you multiply any number with 0, it results into a 0. That is one of the important results. So let me just write it. Multiplication of a whole number with 0 results in 0. That's something that you can remember. Let us highlight this result as well. And now let's see what happens for division. That is what is the role of zero in division. We did have a little bit of discussion earlier in the earlier sessions, but so now what happens when I divide a number by 0, for example, 5 by 0. If you remember, right, any number divided by 0 is not defined because it can go on and on and on. It's like trying to remove nothing from this 5 and it always keeps on, uh, it's just basically not defined. Right. You can refer to the earlier video on what is division in which we have explained this in a bit detail. Right. So in this it is not defined. Now what happens when I divide any, divide 0 by a number. So in that case we always have a 0 because when we have nothing of something and if we try to divide it with any number we still have nothing left. So that's it. So basically you cannot divide anything. No matter what number you take here, you always get a 0. So, so dividing by a 0 by a number is not defined and dividing a 0 with any other number, right? 
it leads to zero always. So uh, that was about the role of zero in multiplication, division and the identity for addition, subtraction. See you in the next session.